friends, we are so excited for you to join us today for the coolest show ever. My name is Janae Bueta and today we have so many fun things lined up for you. Um, My Zone Active Kids is where we help you to actively invest in your future. Today, as you can see, we are visiting Granny Zosiana and Grandpa Zosta on the farm. But before we start, I need you to help me. I can't find my, my friend Maricel. So please, please help me to call her. Are you ready? Maricel! Where are you? Here you Hi, are! Hi friends! <gasps> I missed you guys so much! My name is Maricel Stofberg. Hi! And today we are on the farm. Shanae, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Um, um, and this morning I saw a cow, oh, uh, I a saw cow? a horse, a, a horse? whole horse, I saw sheep and chickens. <laughs> oh wow Marie, so it sounds like you had so much fun on the farm. And we are so excited for today's program. We just want to remind you to join us every day from Monday to Friday at 9 a.m. with Zoshi and Zoe, of course, either on the MyZone or Zoshi Facebook pages. So now we are so excited because today is lesson five. What? Two, already? Four, five, five already. <laughs> and we're going to say hi to Zoe and Zoshi and we're going to have so much fun. I cannot wait. <laughs> yes, we hope you packed all your energy because we also have a super fun active lesson lined up for you. You. And it gets better. I know, I, I know you think it can't be possible, but it does. It does. So we also have a super fun theme every week. And this week it's farm. farm. But <gasps> it's also the last day on the That's farm so for sad, us. <laughs> but never fear when Active Kids is near. Because next week we are going to town. Woo! Yay! <laughs> I've never been to town before. I hope it's nice. I'm very excited for next week's theme. But first, it's time to get your learning on because now it's time for Book 9, Lesson 5 for Pre-Primary Learners. Explanation of symbols on worksheets are as follows. Use coloring crayons to color the picture. Use your finger to follow the track or line or show the correct picture. Use a coloring crayon to draw a line or write a number or sound. Look at the picture and say the number or sound out loud. Use a scissors to cut on the dotted line. Look at the picture. Use these symbols for the lesson of the day, which will be allocated at the top right side of each page. For example, lesson one, prepositions and directions. Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Nitai. Today's theme is farm. Now, before we begin anything else, let's sanitize our hands. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Now remember to maintain a social distance at all times. Today's lesson is handwriting and colors. Let's turn to page 19 of our booklet. The instruction reads, Complete without lifting your hand. What you need to do, you pick up your pencil and trace from the left hand side to the right hand side. The most important thing that you need to remember, the frog 
will definitely run after the fly to catch the fly. The hen will walk to its nest where it laid its eggs. The bee will fly to the beehive. Now let's move over to the chalkboard, then I will explain what you are supposed to do. Let's look at the picture on the board. I have a frog and I have a fly. The frog will walk or run over to where the fly is. Now what we need to do is to connect the frog and the fly. Let's connect the path where the frog is going to walk until it gets to the fly. Remember, you do not lift your hand until you finish. And this is what we will do. We join or connect the dots. We go up, we go down, slowly, we curve down. Do not lift your hand until you reach the end and there the frog will be able to catch the fly. Now let's move over to page 19 of our booklet. With your pencil or pencil color, I would like you to trace the dots, join the dots starting from where the frog is, which is your left hand side, going over to the right hand side where the fly is. And let's trace the dots or join the dots slowly and neatly without lifting up your hand. You can only lift up your hand when you have reached the end of the path. Now let's look at the next picture below the frog and the fly. We have the hen. The hen needs to get to its nest to lay more eggs. Let's start from the top where the hen is. We trace and join the dots as slowly and neatly as possible. Try not to go out of the dotted line and take your time because there are some curves that you need to follow. You should curl up and go round, curl down and go up, curl up and go down and curl back again until you reach the end. Now let's look at the next activity just below the hen and the eggs. There is a bee. The bee needs to fly to its beehive and zzz, it goes. Where do you start? Right under the bee. Put your pencil on the dotted line and let's go slowly but neatly. Remember to go nicely on the curves without going out of the line. Take your time as we go up, join the dots, go down, curl up, curve down, let's curve up, let's curve down and up until we get to the beehive. If you have finished this part of the lesson, I would like to say, well done. Let's turn over to page 20 of our booklet. The instruction reads, what happens first? 
Remember, we need to know the correct sequence of the events. I can see right on top of page 20, there are numbers in blocks. Shall we read those numbers together as we point to the number? Number one, two, and three. Now let's look at the pictures on the left-hand side of page 20. Let's study the pictures together. The first picture right on top, we can see a tail of a mouse. And where is the head and the body of the mouse? The mouse is walking into the kitchen through a cat flap. Once it gets in, let's see what happens on the next picture just below. Look at the picture below, picture number one on top. Second picture, we can see the mouse. What has the mouse seen? Wow, the mouse has seen some cheese. What do you think this mouse thinks to himself? We all know mice love eating cheese. Now let's look at the next picture at the bottom of the page. The mouse is now very close to the cheese. What do you think the mouse would like to do? Remember, mice love eating cheese. Now we need to think a little bit more, we need to know the sequence of these events. What happened first? Okay, let's go back to our pictures as we discuss them. Which picture is supposed to be picture number one? First, remember what I said, the mouse walked into the kitchen through the cat flap. That is supposed to be picture number one. So which one is picture number one? Is it the one on top, the second one in the middle, or the third one at the bottom? Look carefully. Once you have found the picture, write number one next to that picture in the block. Now let's hunt again for picture number two. Once the cat goes through the cat, sorry, once the mouse goes through the cat flap, what does he do? He sees the cheese, he moves closer to the cheese. So which picture is picture number two? I guess he is trying to smell and taste the mouse. So which picture is picture number two? Right, let's look for picture number three. Once the mouse has tasted the cheese or has eaten up all the cheese, what does the mouse do? The mouse walks out through the mouse, the, the, through the cat flap. And that's when we see the tail of the mouse hanging out through the cat flap. If you have finished that page on page 20, we need to look or turn to the next page, which is page 21. On page 21, I will read the instructions. The instructions say, color in the picture, Color the biggest picture or color the biggest animal brown and the smallest animal yellow. I would like to explain to you closely what is biggest and what is smallest. Now let's look at the items that I have on my table. 
I have a big bottle of juice and I have a jar of magnets and I have a small box of juice. Now we would like to find out between the, these three things or objects lined up here. Which one of the three is the biggest of them all? If we look, the juice bottle is the biggest. And which one is the smallest? The juice or the juice box is the smallest. So we must remember biggest and smallest when we are comparing three or more things. Let's look at these mugs or cups lined up here. I have a yellow cup or mug. I have a blue mug or cup and I have a white mug. Now let's look closely at these three mugs or cups which one is the smallest amongst the three? The yellow one is not that small. The white one is not that small. So the smallest is the blue one. Now let's see which one is the biggest of them all. Is it the white mug, the blue mug, or the yellow mug. Yes, the yellow mug is the biggest between all these three. Let's go back to our booklet. We need to color the biggest animal brown, the smallest animal yellow. The animals are on the farm. We can see there is a cow, there is a sheep and there is a lamb. Now, which animal is the biggest of them all? Let's look closely. Yes, if you have identified the cow as the biggest, you need to color it brown. Now, let's look for the smallest animal. Which one is the smallest animal amongst the three animals on the farm? Is it the cow, the sheep, or the lamb? If you have found the smallest animal, you may color it yellow. Once you have finished on that page, we will end our lesson for now. Let's turn over to page 22 of our booklet. Today we will learn about colors. Do you know all your colors of the rainbow? The instruction on page 22 tells us that color by using the color code. There is a snake that has been drawn for you on page 22. There are different parts that you need to color the snake. This is a very colorful snake. Now let's look in the blocks right on top of page 22. Number one says, on number one, you need to color yellow. Do you know which color is color yellow? I will show you which color is color yellow. I have a yellow mug. If you look on the board, yellow, I've got yellow blocks, and for number one, we must color yellow. So look back 
on page 22 of your booklet and look for all number ones on the snake and color them yellow. In block number two, we need to color red. Let's get back to the board again as I'm going to show you what red looks like. That is color red. So for every number two that you see on the snake, you must color in red. That is red. Let's go back to the booklet again and check to see what color is color number three. Color number three is blue. And on the board, let's look once more. Here is number three. And there is our blue. That's color blue for number three. Wherever you find number three on the snake, you need to color it blue. On the booklet, we have to look at the booklet again on block number four. The number asks us to color in brown. And back to our board once more. Here is color number four. It is brown and there is color brown. I can see a brown horse. That is color brown. So on your booklet, if you see number four, wherever you find number four, you color it brown. In block number five, we are expected to color in green. And color green is over here on the board. Number five must be colored in green. And that is color green. Just like grass, the leaves of the trees are also green. Let's look at page 22 of our booklet. We are moving on to block number six. Number six is instructing us to color in orange. Do we know what color is orange? Let's look on our board. There is number six, orange and the color orange, just like the fruit that we all love to eat, an orange. Okay, let's move on to block number seven. Number seven requires you to color in purple. Do we know how the purple color looks like? Let's refer back onto the board and see how the color purple looks. So wherever you find number seven on the booklet or on the snake, you color it purple and that is color purple. Now let's get back to our booklet so that we can be able to complete the activity as required by the instruction. I will read the instruction once more. Color in by using the color code. Remember the color codes, yellow for all the number ones. Color red for all the numbers twos. Color blue for all the number threes. Color brown for all the number fours. Color green for all the number fives. And color orange for all the number sixes. Now the last one is color purple for number seven. Let's do that activity as we finish our booklet. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Now let's sanitize our hands.
rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Now let's remember to maintain a social distance at all times. Now it is time for me to call upon Zoe. Zoe, it is time to say goodbye. Shanae, what a fun lesson we just had. I think today has to be my favorite day it was ever. Day. Okay, apart from my birthday, <laughs> I really love birthdays. But today we're on the farm yes. and we learned about colors, all of them. <sighs> if I have to think about it now, I think my favorite color has to be uh, blue. But oh. no, 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 M red. Oh, purple. Yellow, it has to be yellow. Oh, I can't decide. Marisol, I just think you love all the colors. I do. But now I think it's time to check in with the two coolest people we know, Yay! Zashi and Zoe, and see what they are up to. I just love those two so much, and I'm so excited to hear what they are up to today. with the funkiest bow tie and hair in the world and I am Zoe the cutest and smartest girl you'll ever meet and, and we, we are brother, brother and sister. sister yay wow Zoe can you believe we are on the farm today I'm super 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 excited I know not only are we able to see our friends again but we get to show them our farm as well. And I think it's time for us to sing them the best song ever. I hope you guys are ready because it's time for the old McDonald Head of Farm song. Are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. And a one, and a two, and a three. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And, and 
and on this farm he had some sheep. E-I-E-I-O. With a meh meh here and a meh meh here. Here a meh, there a meh, everywhere a meh meh. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some chicken. E-I-E-I-O. With a pick pick here and a pick pick there. Here a pick, there a pick, everywhere a pick, pick. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Woo! I had so much fun. And with our colorful lesson where we learned all about colors, I feel so happy. I can barely stop smiling. I think, I think, I think my favorite color is the rainbow. <laughs> so she, rainbow isn't a color, but it does have all the colors. So I think I like rainbow too. I'm so happy now. All I want to do is giggle. <laughs> Maybe we should think of some animals that match some of the colors we learned today. What animal can you think of that is green? I know, I know, I know, I know. A frog. Good. Ooh. Can I think of an animal that's pink? Hmm. A cute little piggy. Oink, oink, oink. And Hi, Zoe. And, and, and do you know of an animal that has white and black? A cow. cow. <laughs> Soshi. Can you share that fun did you know fact with us, please? Yes, 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 yes. It's time for our super, super fun fact. Did you know that lemons have more sugar than strawberry? Wow, Soshi, that is so cool. Today, we want you guys to remember that a smile is the best free gift you can give anyone. So, just like us, we want you to always keep smiling and try to look for the rainbow. But that's it from us today, friends. We'll see you again on Monday as we visit the town for the first time. And I'm super Yay! excited. It's bye. bye. Shanae, Zoe and Zoshi are so much fun. I just love those two. Yes, me too. <laughs> but something they didn't tell us is that Zoshi likes colorful rocks. He loves them. That's so cool. It is. I love I colorful like rocks. So what he did is he collected a few rocks and because he is so nice, or maybe Zoe told him to, he said we can borrow his rocks for today's activity. So, so I excited. Think it's time we have fun. Yeah, so for today's fun active activity, we're going to borrow some of Zoshi's rocks. So we have blue rocks, yes. purple rocks, purple. and red rocks. Yes! So we have to go collect those and put it into this basket over here. Okay. So, but we have a few rules that goes with this. Okay, I need to remember So the rules. to collect blue rocks, we are only allowed to hop on one leg like this. And to collect red rocks, yes. we are only allowed to hop on two legs. And lastly, for the purple rocks, we have to skip like this. Okay, Marisol, are you ready? <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. But everyone at home, please remember to stand up and do the activity with us. Yes. Shanae will keep mentioning what color you should do what. And I think I'm going to win. So please don't make Shanae <laughs> feel bad about when she loses. But it's fine. I'm the best at this game. <laughs> so are you ready at home? Are you ready, Marisol? I am. You're going to pick the first color. Yes, right? so our okay. first color is blue <gasps> blue and for blue we have to hop on one leg okay and, and go. go i'm back <laughs> in the basket <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Okay, the next colour we're going to do is red. Yes! And for red, we hop on two legs. So on your marks. Go! And go back, back, back. Ah! Okay. It's a tie. It's a tie, tie. so far. It's a tie. Last. But, um, it's one zero. Yeah. Last round. We have to collect a purple rock. <gasps> purple. So for purple, we're going to skip. Okay, are you ready, Marisol? Yes. Wait for my go. <laughs> on your marks. Get set. Go. And back. Ah, no! <laughs> Well done, Marisol, and I well cried. done everyone at home. We hope you enjoyed that activity. <laughs> it's so much fun that you can do it every single day. So ask your parents to help you and yes. you can have fun. Definitely. Oh, I'm tired. I need to do this exercise Yeah, I think more. it's time to rest a bit. Me? Yeah. <laughs> but we also want to thank Innovations again for the wonderful chairs that they gave us. If you want to need, if you need anything for your party, contact info at kickstart.com. Yes. yes. And Marisol, we have to remind them about something exciting happening in August. Can you tell them? I can barely contain myself. So on the 12th of August, we have our Careers Expo called Careers V X. <laughs> I feel like a superhero saying that. <laughs> da, 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 da. But on this expo, you get to sit at home and have exposure to different career opportunities. So make sure you follow us on our pages, stay tuned. And that's it for us from the farm. Thank you, friends. <laughs> Bye, Bye, everyone.